the lagoon of Araxos Cotichi and Mesologio Netolico are located in western Greece. Among them, the Mesologio Etolico lagoons are the greatest in the Mediterranean region. Today, these two lagoons have been proclaimed as environmentally protected parks of the southern edge of western Greece, where Patraikos Gulf meets the Ionian Sea. These lagoons, in relation to the number of population and kind of bind species, are considered the richest wetlands of Europe. The Lagoon of Araxos, the Lake of Prokopos, and the Marsh of Lamias, and a bit southern the Lagoon of Kotichi in the prefecture of Ilias, constitute the chain of the wetlands of the Western Peloponnesus, and along with the Lagoon of Mesologio Netolico, constitute the main wetlands of Western Greece. The Lagoon of Araxos, or Calogrias, or Papa, covers an area of 318 hectares. It is supplied with water by the small torrents existing in the area and also by the water of springs and the charges of karstic water burning glaciers of the Black Mountains. The name Papa was given by the Venetians at the time at which the lagoon was supplying Vatican with such feces gilt head brims and eels. Prokopos is a solway lake with a mean depth of 0.4 meters, including these sites with a depth of 1.5 meters. The formation of this lake is due to the Aeolian deposits as a result of which sand dunes were developed leading to the establishment of the lake. In this area, there is the forest of Strophilias, where the stone pine is the main forest species prevailing, constituting the largest stone pine forest not only in Greece, but the Europe as well. The Lagoon of Kotichi covers an area of 618 hectares. The lake is divided in two parts by the Ionian Sea by means of a sand stripe of 3.5 km length at 30 m width, the two parts being connected by a channel. This lake is the wetland and according to Ramsar Treaty is of international importance. It is a protected area as it offers special protection to the wild birds. Diachronically, The main creators of the Mesologion Lagoon were the rivers Achelous and Devinos. According to ancient biographical references, Achelous River is depicted as a bull and the interpretation of its shape refers to the snake type dodges to recreations and curves of its ravines. Achelous symbolized the spirit of the following waters. During the ancient times, this area was the center of two nationalities, of Aetolians and Acarnanias. Achelous was separating the ancient Aetolia on the east and Acarnania on the west. In ancient mythology and art, the fighting of god Achelous and semi-god Hercules is mentioned and depicted respectively for Dianira, the daughter of the Caledonia's king Aeneas. Hercules defeated Achelous, who was depicted as a bull, and broke one of his horns, and as exchange he received the horn of Amalthias, which represented the source of abundance and fertility. The victory of Hercules is metaphorically connected with the construction of anti-flood and drainage works in this area and the horn of Amalthias is symbolizing the fertile land which was the outcome of the construction of the above works. The power of Achelous is shown by the great number of towns which were established along its banks such as Stratos Mitropolis in Iades on its right bank and Paleocastros Politar Snoi on its left bank. Today, Achelous is also known as the White River due to the white color formed 
in the winter as a result of the fact that the river is transporting large quantities of suspended clay particles up to its delta originating from the weathering of the zone of fleece. At the period of copper, and specifically during the Mycenaean period, we find organized settlements as a consequence of the humans that could have access to the water and to land plugging, which helped them to develop agriculture, animal husbandry, cultivation of trees, as well as the commercial activities with the towns of the Western Greece. As far as the history of the water complex of the lagoon of Mesologia et Olico, it starts some thousand years ago before and after the opening of the geological fault of the Klisuras Canon, which resulted in the reduction of the Akananias Lake. Since 2006, the Mesologia et Olico lagoon, along with its lower flow at the estuary of Achelos and Devinos, including the islands of Echinades, have been regulated and officially proclaimed as national park. It consists of a complex of six lagoons, relatively isolated among themselves, having each one different physicochemical properties. They are as follows. The northern lagoons at the channel of Klisoba, the lagoon of Klisoba, the central lagoon, the lagoon of Atolikon, and the lagoon of Tholis, and the last is the lagoon of the Paleopotamos. The existing salt pans constitute a complementary part of the lagoon and at the same time constitute sites of significant productive activities. The terrestrial section of the lagoon includes the following. The hills which are spread in the wetland, the mountain of Varasova, the sand dunes which were created on the transported materials of the rivers which constitute the boundaries of the lagoons from the open sea of the Ionian Sea, the canyon of Klisura, which have been proclaimed is an area of special beauty, the forest of Fraxos, which has been characterized as preserver movement of nature, the cultivated land, and the last, the island complex of Echinades, which is closely associated with the estuary of Achelos. In this national park, the following zones are recognized. The zones of absolute protection, the zone of the protection of nature, and the peripheral zone. The fishery in the lagoon is not characterized by a high variety of fish species, but by the existing large quantities of the relatively small number of fish species. The main species are goldfish, grey mullet, bass, and eels. In the lagoon there are the so-called fish farms known as Ivaria. That is, they are closed spaces of trapezoidal shape constructed near sites where the lagoon is connected to the open sea. The second natural boundary of the Mesologial lagoon is the river Evinos or Fidaris. This name was given by the kind Evinos. The total length of this river is 18 kilometers. Since the beginning of the last century, the city of Athens is supplied by the Evinos River with water for public consumption. Today, the river Evinos is an ideal place for water sports such as canoe, kayak and rafting. The lagoon of Mesologion has been thousand times sunk by one of the greatest poets, Costis Palamas, who wrote the poem entitled The Grief for the Lagoon. My heart is signing, the same sign. If I could live again, there in the slow and calm sea, there in that wide and great sea, for me it is my destiny, I it is my grace. I see within me a sweet late lake, like an ocean open the grave.